What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making a dual sword in Blender and we're going to be transporting it over into Roblox Studios. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. So first off we start as normal, you know. We use a cube as our base plate template because that's just like the normal base plate template. And I picked the most round, I guess, sword or object available which resembles a sword, which is a cylinder. I guess you could go with a cone. But I just felt like a cylinder would be easier and like better, I guess, because it's easier to sculpt than a normal cone because a cone just has like that weird pointy thing. So you cannot really shape the bottom half where you exactly want it. Except the fact that it's already like pointed, I guess, which is good depending on how you want to use it. But instead, I just went with a normal cylinder and I edited it to, you know, make it more sharp and look a little bit more edgy. So here, as you can see, I get the bottom half of the cylinder and sorry, not extrude. Um, yep. What? I guess it's extrude. No, it's more like I think I just created vertices inside of it to make it smaller. So there's more editing points where I can change around the sword sh type and shape. Here, as you can see, I'm editing using X-ray mode, so I can see all the dots and highlight them all at the same time. It did not really come out right at the start, so um, I kind of make the top a little small uh not bigger smaller and rotate it inwards because i did not like the way how it was it to be honest this it was supposed to look like a sword but it never really came out like a sword it kind of just came out like a weird bladed knife definitely could have done a lot better but it looks good enough i guess i it might cut so, something if that thing is like very brittle but you know, it looks more like um, a Scyther is Scyther right now. If you guys know Pokemon, that's what it resembles right now. But here I, I start the top of the tilt or handle. Sorry, not tilt, hilt. Um, I use that by just creating a normal torus, which is pretty much just a donut. I just call it a donut. But in Blender, it's called torus. And then after that, I put a hilt. Yep, that, that's a hilt. I'll just make it here because I forgot the hilt was the torus or the actual hilt which is what I'm using right now as a cylinder because the torus is actually a handguard not a tilt or hilt but um for my what would be the opposite of a handguard would that also be a handguard I think that's also a handguard never mind never mind guys but as you can see here, I did not add a face at the bottom, so it kind of came out weird in um, rendering, as you guys can see later. But right now, that's fine. But uh, yeah, in rendering, definitely does not come out right. But uh, yeah, that's like the main kind of shape I went for. So now I went to texturing on. I decided to go with like a steel thunderbolt theme. Didn't come out right. As you guys can see later, definitely came out better in my head than what actually appeared on my design but you know what can you do i looked up blue to get like a blue glow and i saw this cool blue lightning so i was like oh you know what I i'll work with that and here i got some wood for the hilt so you know because most hilts are like brownish made out of wood or leather but i went for um, a wood finish and then here i have gold as like the accent piece and then i combine it all using paint which uh or paint on net right yeah paint on net like the goaded not i was about to say streaming service no the goaded um art editing service i guess because it's for free too so here i just quickly scale all my images to the right size so they fit perfectly in my screen as you can see i got the steel got the wood copy on the gold now that they're all perfectly layered i need to get the lightning texture onto the steel so i do that by creating a new layer importing my lightning texture and then just customizing the burn layout which yeah as you guys can see it looks really cool in my head but uh it just didn't come out right as you guys can see in a bit i was trying to play around and see which one would look the best and i went with this one which I kind of regret going with it looks kind of cool here with like red, uh, red blood with some blue strokes of lightning but as you can see here, I add the texture files in my download and save folder. 
turn on um, rendering mode so I can see the actual layout of how it looks and then here you can see I select everything put it all in the red lightning for the sword because this is the sword base area for now and it just kind of ooh, I don't know it doesn't look a hundred percent right I, I went with it cuz you know I spent time no nah, not really I definitely I definitely probably should change it but it's fine it's fine I think like here it didn't look too bad you know what actually it doesn't look too bad in my head or when I was doing it it looked way worse so I'm glad it doesn't look as bad right now as I'm doing it in edit but yeah so here this is like the first half because luckily I didn't use all my vertices so I had just enough to mirror it over on another side in these two which is perfect for what I want to do as a dual sword technique on the back you know most Roblox characters have that dual sword on the back as you can see though I made the sword way too big way way too big so I had to downscale it a little bit and then I had to mirror it across on the other side of the x-axis using the mesh as its reference point and then I just lined them up made them smaller because I didn't want to make them too big and here it looks fine right but in the actual Roblox studios it looks very wonky especially with the rendered met uh, yeah the rendered edit it looks very weird really good here but really weird on the rendered edit um, and then here I just play around a little bit with the settings merging around I don't know why I'm changing the layout for the textures I'm just goofing off there and then once I have it all set up I make sure I actually save the edit that actually looked really cool right there that little pattern definitely do that on some other stuff but here I delete the mesh figure and then I just join both objects together save it as dual swords and I believe I upload it into Roblox Studios now which I probably should have set the origin though to the center of the object which I don't do I don't know why I don't do that now definitely should just makes it easier when moving stuff around definitely do that on my next projects which we will um, go check out the other project guys by the way if you like what you guys see here with all my other builds um, we definitely need to make another big robot though just having one spaceship is kind of kind of lame definitely add a second one maybe I'll add like a AT walker from like Star Wars and put some clones yeah that's what we'll do if you guys want to see that please like and subscribe and uh, we'll definitely do that next time or in the future at least but as you can see uh, my mesh render here the hilt is kind of wonky it kind of like shows through which I don't really like a lot I try to fix it a little bit after this but it just still didn't work I try to see if I did something wrong but yeah I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it. So I make sure it all fits right and it does. So that's good. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and peace out.